Good morning, everyone. This is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's just before 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Saturday, August 16th, coming on this morning with the latest on extremely powerful now Category 5 Hurricane Aaron, which has explosively deepened and, and intensified here over the last 6 to 12 hours to the north of the northern Leeward Islands. Uh, currently, right now, maximum sustained winds based on the data we have from both the NOAA and Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircraft now up to 160 miles per hour. That's up from 100 miles per hour around 2 a.m. Eastern Time. So very rapid strengthening the minimum central pressure down to an estimated around 917 millibars this morning. So Aaron, a very powerful hurricane. Uh, thankfully, the core of Aaron remains well to the north of the northern Leeward Islands, now about 105 miles to the north of Anguilla, 235 miles northeast of San Juan, Puerto Rico. But these islands are feeling the peripheral effects of this very powerful hurricane. Uh, and I did want to show this image that was taken off of the NOAA P-3 aircraft this morning by the NESDA's Ocean Winds team. And you can see the very calm winds, uh, calm sea surface here uh, in the calm, rel relatively calm winds of the eyewall right next to these extreme waves out in the eyewall itself. So just a stunning photograph. And we've really seen the value of the aircraft reconnaissance as Aaron has explosively deepened this morning, really helping us keep track of exactly how strong the storm is. You can see the eyewall of Aaron here on the radar from San Juan, Puerto Rico. This is up at about 50,000 feet, so again, a very powerful storm. And the eye, based on data from the aircraft, is now down to less than five nautical miles in diameter. So we expect to see Aaron peak here in, in, in intensity relatively soon. We're seeing signs of a secondary eye wall starting to form, which means that the, the intensity will level out, but then the storm's going to start to grow in size, and that's going to have some implications for impacts farther down the line. But you can see some of the heavy rainfall occurring across portions of the Virgin Islands and the northern Leeward Islands this morning. We're expecting two to four inches of rainfall uh, with isolated amounts of up to six inches in portions of the Leeward Islands, the Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico. And we do have a flash flood watch or flood watch in effect for the U.S. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico with the potential for locally considerable flash and urban flooding and landslides are also possible all the way from today into tomorrow. And we'll begin to see conditions uh, improve in the northern Leeward Islands and the Virgin Islands of Puerto Rico during the day Sunday as Aaron begins to pull away from those areas. We could also see some tropical storm force wind gusts and some of those rain bands uh, during the day today and into tonight. Now looking ahead into next week, we expect Aaron to continue as a powerful major hurricane gradually turning northward into a break in the subtropical ridge uh, to the east of the Bahamas and then passing uh, somewhere between the outer banks of North Carolina and Bermuda as we move from Wednesday into Thursday of next week. It's important to remember that as hurricanes move out of the deep tropics, they tend to grow in size, and we're expecting the tropical storm force winds from Aaron to more than double in size as we go through the, uh, the week next week. And you can see these are the chances of tropical storm force winds now up to about 30% in Bermuda with the most likely time of arrival sometime during the day Wednesday. And obviously any changes in the exact track of Aaron will uh, de determine the exact risk and what those impacts will likely be, but certainly expecting to see some impacts in Bermuda, especially given the large size of Aaron's wind field. And the other uh, thing we're very concerned about is the potential for surf and rip currents, dangerous conditions developing almost along the entire east coast of the United States beginning Monday here in Florida, spreading up into the Carolinas Tuesday and Wednesday, and up into the mid-Atlantic states on Wednesday and Thursday. This is a forecast of the wave field associated with Aaron overnight Tuesday into Wednesday morning with peak wave heights of over 50 feet uh, near and to the right of the center. But you can see these large waves starting to reach the coast from North Florida up through Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, over wave breakers of over 10 feet, and that's going to create dangerous surf and rip current conditions. And a reminder that this is this exact case where we tend to see a lot of rip current fatalities. The weather can be otherwise pretty nice to be at the beach, but the ocean can be very dangerous. So if you are planning to be at the coast along the east coast of the U.S. Uh, all the way through this upcoming work week, uh, just be mindful of uh, dangerous beach conditions. Only swim where there's a lifeguard and pay attention to any warning flags that are flying at the beach. So let's wrap up here with the key messages on powerful Category 5 Hurricane Aaron this morning. Uh, in the short term, expecting heavy rainfall at times through Sunday across the northern Leeward Islands, the Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico with locally considerable flash flooding and the potential for mudslides and landslides in areas of high terrain. Wind gusts to tropical storm force and Aaron's outer rain bands are likely through portions of these same islands through tonight and into Sunday. A tropical storm force winds gust also possible in portions of the Turks and Caicos and southeastern Bahamas. Aaron's expected to produce life-threatening surf and rip current conditions along the beaches of the Bahamas, 
much of the U.S. East Coast and across the Western Atlantic Basin next week. And interest in Bermuda especially should continue to monitor the progress of Aaron as there is a risk of uh, strong winds, uh, dangerous surf conditions, and heavy rainfall on that island as we go into the middle portions of next week. So please stay tuned here at hurricanes.gov uh, for the latest on Aaron and uh, go to your local National Weather Service office at weather.gov for update, uh, updates on those impacts throughout the week. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.